Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn React Native Picker Select. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. First of all, let me connect to the index. So I will show you so how it is exactly looking. So here we have the Anydesk. So it's coming up. This is the Anydesk ID. Let me add this one. Okay, so here we have the code. So let me go and just add, uh, open this app. Here it is the app. So this is the app, you can see that. <coughs> here you can see, where is Anydesk? This is Anydesk, you can see. Whenever I try to use TypeScript, so you can see that in the console.log TypeScript, if I select this one JavaScript, so it will consume that JavaScript, okay? So how we are going to do, this, uh, do that, okay? So we have a plugin that we are using React Native Picker Select, okay? So whenever you install this plugin, okay, there is a dependency of that one that is React Native Picker. So don't forget, if you haven't, if you're facing the issue, then you have to check out my previous two videos, uh, which we have sorted out all the issues in that one. Okay, so you can see that maximum number of downloads of this React Native Picker Select is 63 above 63,000. So you can see that weekly download. So it is a must, it is like popular package that we, we can use into our React Native project, right? So, um, so you can use that. It's very easy, very simple. So we have to uh, install NPM React Native Picker Select. Okay, after installing this one, we have a simple line of code that is this, these are the items on value change and this is RM Picker Select. Only you have to pass this one and it will give you that picker that I have made one. So there are some of the props that you can use. That is the on value change. We have the callback function items, placeholder, disabled value, item key, style, picker props. Okay, icon, if you want to add the icon on that one, text input props. Okay, so all of this prop information is coming over here. So you can, if you want to add, you can use this props over here. Okay. And it's and nothing more uh, uh, like you can say much more on that one because it's very simple and very easy. So here we have you can see the picker props, accessibility level selected items, dot title, description, and all. So you can also use if you have the accessibility example, you can you try to this one. Okay, so any big thing is not there in that one. It's very simple and the very easy. You can see that only I have used the RN picker select in the view part we have wrapped into it and we have the items then we have on value change we are going to get the value then you can that set the state and send it to the back end and save that value so this is the process and this is the flow that you can use into your react native app any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day